Hello everybody, this is Commander Dan and Commander Harry, right on. Uh, I thought we'd use this opportunity uh, while we're driving Commander Harry home to Bristol to um, conduct a little interview with my 12 year old son to um, to give you guys a perspective on Fantastic On. Oh, and obviously putting the car in gear might help. <laughs> right, uh, so first thing, what is your absolute highlight of Fantastic On? You've been to every single one of them, Harry. You've been to all six, well, all five, and then the six here this year, you're coming as well. You've been to all of them. What is your Fantastic On highlight? Definitely the Nerf War. Nerf War, whoops. Okay, do you want to grab hold of the phone? Yeah. Yeah, the Nerf War, huh? Definitely the Nerf okay, War. Okay, tell me why. It's very fun. Yeah. It's all out chaos. All out chaos, I like that. And you just get to shoot people. You do, and they and get to shoot you as well. Yeah. But it's safe, right? Yeah, it's completely safe. Yeah. Okay, so, um, so that, okay, the Nerf War, that's your highlight. Um, what other aspects of the con do you enjoy? Because there's lots of different things going on, isn't there? Definitely the VR. VR, okay. All right, why do you like the VR so much? Because of, because, well, it's really, it's really fun. Uh -huh. It's quite tiring yeah. sometimes, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. um, and the, um, one of the games, Super Hot, yeah. is my favourite VR game of all time. I think it's probably my favourite too, and I, I happen to know for sure it's the favourite VR game of um, Drew Wager. Because when we got the headset on him, we couldn't get it off him. <laughs> I think he was in there for, what, 45 minutes or something? Playing the super hot scenarios. It's an amazing game, I love it. Okay, awesome. So, um, so people want to go and hunt down super hot and find out what it's about. Super hot will be at the convention this year. Uh, we'll have HTC Vives, Oculus Rifts, Oculus Touch. So they're kind of wireless versions. And, and yeah, so it's going to be great. Um, so we've done the Nerf, we've done the VR. Um, what about the laser tag? Did you get in the laser tag this year, last year? Sadly, I did not. Uh -huh. But I heard stories that it was great. <laughs> okay, I did get in the VR, uh, in, in the in the laser tag, sorry, um, a couple of times. Uh, once was with the sovereignty, um, and and that was just chaos. It was essentially the sovereignty versus frontier development, which meant just me and Zach huddling in a corner, getting our asses kicked by the sovereignty. Um, so. Revenge awaits, sovereignty. Revenge awaits, and you're going to help. Um, and yeah, so the laser tag's awesome. A company called Darklight brings it along. Um, that's uh, again a member of the sovereignty, Mr. Chris Strode, uh, works for Darklight, and he's been making the packs and the, the the games even more fun. So there's options like power ups and rocket launchers. That if you hit someone with a laser rocket launcher, um, people within a certain radius of them take a little damage as well so that's quite cool um right so that's that's the laser tag stuff what else did you enjoy from last year's con or from indeed the last half decade of cons because you were seven when you came to the first one yeah. and now you're 12 which is madness because you were like yeah. two last wednesday but anyway um one of them is the live music was really fun oh yeah cool all right um, who did you see I saw the Jolly Boat was really good. Yeah, they're funny. They're oh, very hilarious. funny lads, yeah. Jolly Boat are actually at the Edinburgh Festival this year, so they can't come. Oh, right. Yeah, but they're, 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 they've, they've been with us two years in a row, and now they're doing, playing this massive festival with a couple of thousand people in the crowd the last time I saw on Facebook. So, yeah, they're doing really well, Tommy and Ed. So, big shout out to the Jolly Boat boys. We will have equally awesome. Um, music acts this year. They're headed by the lovely Gemma Johnson again. Gemma's coming. Really? That's cool. She's cool, um, right? Did you see? Yeah. Did you go in the Nerf War with Gemma? Uh, yes. Yeah, because she totally just kicks ass in the Nerf War as well. So she's not like one of these stuck-up artists that <laughs> hides in the green room, huh? She was full throttle in the Nerf Arena. I remember she shot me on the end of my nose once, which was unexpected. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's uh, the live music stuff. And also we got pizza. Oh yeah, we did get pizza. We got barbecue chicken pizza. Oh uh, yeah. I got barbecue chicken pizza. Mm -hmm. The other people had other pizza. Well, yeah, that's how getting pizzas works. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, you're obviously usually there for the setup and the breakdown of the event as well, so you see the kind of chaos coming together and then chaotically falling apart again. Um, but at the convention that people can visit, 
Um, what other aspects of the convention do you really enjoy? Because there's lots going on, isn't there? It's quite a full throttle weekend. It's really fun to watch the drones whiz around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are cool. Uh, we've got drone racing this year, like proper pilots coming along and running an actual track rather than just monkeying around in the air above the convention. This time they've oh, got right. a dedicated arena and like a proper a proper racetrack for them, so that'll be an ace. Uh, and if you're good enough uh, on a computer simulated test program that uses the same handset to control, if you're good enough on that, they might even let you have a go on the actual drones yourselves. You'll be trying wow. them, you'll be flying them yourself. Yeah. That'll be awesome. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting one, but they're too expensive. I mean, it's a really good opportunity to kind of test a few different types and and find out, you know, whether you're, first of all, whether you're any good, whether it's fun for you or not, and, and also to try all the different types. VR's the same. It's expensive stuff, right? So you don't Very. Just want, yeah, so you don't just want to dive in and buy the first VR headset you see in Argos. Um, come to the con and check out all the different types, because we will have all the different types. HTC Vives are coming, Oculus Rift, um, the wireless versions that don't have cables anymore. That's pretty cool. The Oculus Quest. Uh, Oculus Quest, yeah. Right. Every, everything's coming, we've got them all. So, uh, so yeah, if, if anyone's watching the vid and they're interested in getting into VR or thinking about buying it for Christmas or whatever, Fantasticon is mid-August, so you've still got a couple of paychecks um, between Fantasticon and, um, and Christmas. So, uh, yeah, come and check out the VR stuff as well. Is there anything else? Um, there was the RPG room, but sadly I wasn't able to... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the games room, it's it's hard to get in there because some of the games might take like 30 or 40 minutes, maybe an hour, but other games are even shorter. Um, and, and yeah, it's just an introduction to board games that you may not have heard of. Um, you know, essentially it's, it's showcasing the space in your life that currently probably just Monopoly takes up. There's, there's all sorts of games. And who knows, if this Kickstarter that we're running at the minute goes crazy, this might be an update video for it, by the way, so you're going to be famous on Kickstarter, is that all right? Yeah. I'll have your consent with your Kickstarter, all right? Um, I will, uh, yeah, if, if we hit the stretch goals, then we can tell people the name of the game and, and we can show them some artwork and stuff. But speaking of that game, you, you played it with us yesterday, right? Um, we've got my sister-in-law and Gabby and Harry and I played it yesterday. Uh, so without giving away the name of it, because that's the first stretch goal, um, what was your experience like of playing it? I think this was your third time playing. <laughs> so what did you think of it? It was very, very fun. Good. Last time, it wasn't as developed. There were a few game mechanics that weren't in there. Yeah, yeah, there's been a lot of new stuff added of late, isn't there? Yeah. And um, this time, I became the team's merchant collecting all the stuff I could and giving it to other players when they needed it. Oh nice, that's cool. Basically being a health store. Nice, alright, so like a free shop almost. Yeah. Okay, and uh, what's the format of the game? Just so people get another little hint, because this is all brand spanking new exclusive hints that we give to people about the game here, so what's the format of the game without giving away the name or any of the game mechanics? It's like a dungeon crawler. Okay. Type game. Cool, cool. It is indeed. With um, enemies around every corner. <laughs> Literally <Yeah>. every <laughs> corner. Yeah, you, you killed quite a lot of bad guys, huh? Yeah. Gabby was the worst. She ran into a room full of bad guys and killed all but one of them in the same turn, if you remember. Yeah, and then I, I think I killed one dude. I killed one dude. No, wait, I killed seven dudes. Was it one or seven? I think, I know. It was, it was somewhere between one and seven. Pretty sure it was one. I think Gabby probably did seven. I, 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 I didn't kill one because I remember killing that guy. Um, yeah, don't I, give away the enemy's names. That guy. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> that guy. That long range guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, long range guys. Hint, hint. <laughs> uh, yeah, so three. Three guys. That's yeah. It. I killed three guys with um, an item. <laughs> okay, so bef before this gets way too vague, um, a person or creature went into a place or didn't. Yeah. Uh, before it gets too vague, let's pull it back to Fantastic On. So uh, before we sign out, uh, uh, my my three words to describe Fantastic On are 
um, are exhausting, because it is to set it up and run the things, are exhausting, exhilarating, and proud, because I'm very proud of what it's grown into in the last five years. Um, what are your three words to describe your experience of fantastic? I would say fantastic, because it's really fun. Well, fantastic because everything's fun, there's lots of teamwork, all that. Yeah. Fun because it's fun. Okay. Um, and I would say very stress relieving. Stress relieving, that's interesting. It's, it's very unwinding to just yeah, shoot like some people in the head mm -hmm. a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my 12 year old son Harry, who likes to re who likes to unwind by shooting <laughs> people in the head. I assume you're talking about the Nerf War or laser tag here. As opposed to sniping people to death on Cleethorpes <laughs> beachfront. Oh, and of course, it's by the seaside too. Yeah. You should probably mention that, huh? Mm. Okay, so yeah, your I, third I was, word is stress relieving. Yeah. Is, was, that, no, is that hyphenated? Is it? Yeah. All right. I was talking about um, the Nerf War and the VR. On the VR, okay, yeah, of course, because you can with super hot you shooting people as well. Cool, all right, awesome. Well, thanks for that, Harry. Cheers for the interview. Um, uh, this is Commander Dan signing out, um, and we'll see you in August, mid August. Oh, crap, hang on. Um, the, the Kickstarter, oh, yeah, I'm gonna put this on YouTube as well. So go and visit tinyurl.com forward slash fantasticon UK. I don't know if tinyurl is case sensitive, so go tinyurl.com forward slash and then lowercase fantastic on uppercase UK. All right, so that's tinyurl.com forward slash fantastic on UK, and that will take you to the Kickstarter until the uh, 31st of May, which is when it ends. Um, this is, where are we now? What date is it? Is it the 14th? I think it's yeah, the 14th, the 14th so. of April now. So we are two weeks in because we, we launched it on the 1st of April and we already have just under five and a half thousand pounds of the 9,360 we are asking for. So thanks very much if you've helped already. Um, if you haven't helped already but want to, please jump on there and drop at least a pound into the, um, into the pot and you will be able to see not just this update, which of course is public on YouTube, but, um, but all the other updates that have been uh, just for backers only so you can look back and check out all the other silly updates we've done and get access to all the silly updates we plan to do so without further ado this is commander dan signing out and we'll see you mid-august happy right days on, and thanks very much for your help right on